come on into my kitchen. You guys, I'm gonna be making a diabetic approved meatloaf. It's home cooking Southern style, but it's diabetic approved. Oh yeah. So join me in the kitchen and watch me as I put everything together. Now you guys saw my veggies, I've got them all cut up. Now I'm gonna put them in a the microwave for five minutes. See them now. They're all translucent. Now I'm gonna take and go ahead and start preparing my meat for my meatloaf. Okay, so I have two room temperature eggs. I'm gonna go ahead and crack them. And then once I crack those eggs, I'm gonna go ahead and I have a pack of wheat crackers. I'm going to be taking those wheat crackers and crushing them up. And I'll also pour them on top of those eggs and the meat. And then I will add all the ingredients that you see there pictured. I'm gonna be adding about a cup to a cup and a half of milk. And I, I am using 2% milk. And everything else is gonna be seasoned to taste. I'm gonna go ahead and add those veggies that I heated and cooked in the microwave. And now I'm going to be adding our minced garlic. And again, season to your taste. Garlic, salt with parsley, about a quarter teaspoon of that. Onion powder. That's probably about a tablespoon. Now we're gonna be adding our Dale steak seasonings. And this has some, uh, this does not have Worcestershire sauce. I normally put Worcestershire sauce in my meat loaf, but this time I'm gonna try this. It's got some soy seasoning in it and it's really rich. So, and I really enjoy it. So I'm gonna try that in my meat loaf for the first time, you guys. And now I'm gonna add my coarse table grind black pepper. I will be adding sea salt at the very end and you'll see when I'll add the sea salt. But after I get all this added, I'm gonna be mixing everything, everything in. Everything's gonna be mixed and combined. Um, once everything is mixed and combined and everything is formed, I'm gonna form into a loaf and then I'm gonna make um, a, little, a little hole in the middle of the meatloaf mixture. I'm gonna pour my ketchup 
in that hole and on the outside of that meatloaf. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna get my sea salt and do about three or four sprigs of tea so sea salt. So probably about a, a two teaspoons to maybe a tablespoon that I'll be sprinkling on the top of that mixture. In addition to that, I'll also be using some monk fruit um, sugar. It's also diabetic approved sugar that I'll be sprinkling on top of that as well. So let's get this in the oven and bake it at, depending on your oven, between 350 to 375 or 400, depending on your oven. I will be baking mine at 350 for an hour and a half, but I will be checking on it within the hour. Okay, so it's been an hour. I took the lid off and I'm gonna let it now bake another 30 minutes and look at that mm, mm, mm. delicious meatloaf oh yeah sliced just right and on the plate y'all go check us out on promo SDK eating good in the neighborhood because we gonna mukbang this thing oh yeah baby